If you have any questions or if there's any corrections to what I said here, do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you know somebody who would benefit from this video, make sure to share it with them so that they can avoid making the mistakes that I made. Hi, hello and welcome to another episode of China Teacher, where I share with you what it is like to be an English teacher in China. Today, I want to tell you some of the changes that the channel has gone through and I want to explain to you why I had to do those and how I made those changes. This is very important for somebody who wants to be a YouTuber in China, whether it is a Chinese person or a foreigner. So, if you don't want to make the mistakes that I made, don't go anywhere and see you on the other side of the intro. Welcome back guys. Well, the first thing to say is that about two and a half, almost three months ago, I became eligible for monetization in my channel. I reached the 1,000 subscribers, now I'm at almost 1,600, and um, I reached the 4,000 minutes or hours, I don't remember, of watch time required for monetization. So when you reach that level, you get an email or you get a notification saying that, well, you should submit your channel for scrutiny for the YouTube team to determine whether the content is uh, good for advertisement or not. So I did that. And in that process, they also tell you that you should add or you should open an AdSense account. Sorry guys, it's really, really hot here in Dongguan, even though it's the end of summer already. And uh, well, that's exactly what I did. I went to Google AdSense and I opened a new account and I got a customer ID or publisher ID. Now, YouTube tells you that this process of, of well, checking your, your YouTube channel takes within a month and then you'll be notified whether you are approved or not as a YouTube partner. But it's been way longer than that and I haven't received any answers. So I went in to the, the back stage, the back side of YouTube and I started digging, trying to find out what the situation was, what the problem was. And apparently China is not allowed to monetize videos. So my AdSense account was geographically tagged as a Chinese account and my YouTube channel is also geographically tagged as a Chinese YouTube channel. So this makes my channel uh, impossible to, to monetize. They can't do anything. The interesting thing is that YouTube didn't tell me anything. I just had to wait and go find out by myself. So right now I'm thinking, I'm screwed, right? Because I have all this content, like 190 something videos, uh, 1,600 or 500 and well, whatever, 1,500 subscribers. You guys, thank you very much for your support. And, and uh, I won't be able to do anything with this account. I won't be able to monetize these videos. The, the, the work and the time and the investment and the effort, uh, it will never be uh, compensated in any way. So, I started to think, what can I do? I asked first uh, a few YouTubers. I asked Simon, for example, Simon Yu, he's got 8,000 subscribers, whether he monetizes his videos or not. And if he did, uh, whether he could share some uh, instructions, some steps as to how he did it. He didn't reply. I don't know if he doesn't monetize his videos or if he just hasn't had the time or he doesn't know. So I had to do a little digging by myself. What I found out is that it is actually possible to change ownership of a YouTube account. So YouTube account is owned by an email account, yeah? In this case, a Chinese email account that I use for opening the channel. So what they tell me is that this China teacher YouTube account needs to open a new channel. So when you go into your settings and you click add a new channel, it actually takes you to a page, uh, something relatively new called a brand name account. So that brand name account is more like an umbrella that can hold several um, channels within that brand name account. Now, obviously my Chinese email owns China Teacher and now China Teacher owns that China Teacher brand account. So I'm still in trouble, right? But the benefit or the advantage or the feature that I was going to use is that you can actually create a co-owner for your brand name account. That co-owner needs to be another channel. So what to do? Well, create another channel. How do you create another channel? Well, 
you need to create another email. So that's what I did. I went ahead and I um, created another email. I created another YouTube, um, YouTube account. And then China Teacher Brand invited that new YouTube channel and a new email. None of those are geographically connected to China, of course, to be co-owner of China Teacher Brand. Now, the thing is, you have three levels of, of ownership or cooperation with other channels. You can be primary owner of a brand name account. You can be just co-owner or you can be manager. So at this stage, at this point, everything is primary owned by China Teacher. So once I send the invitation, I can change my role uh, in that new account. So you click, oh, I want this co-owner, this new co-owner, to become the primary owner of the China brand umbrella account. So that's what I did. This change takes about one day. They say that you need to wait 24 hours for a new co-owner to become primary owner. So after these 24 hours, you go ahead and you click change this uh, new co-owner to become the primary owner of the China brand, China teacher brand, and then that new primary owner can delete other co-owners. So right now, this new email account, this new YouTube account is the owner of the China teacher brand, which in turn owns China teacher. So it's all being transferred to a completely different email. Now, of course, I've had to go ahead and create a new Google AdSense account with that new email so that well, monetization will be handled through that new AdSense account that has nothing to do with China. The thing is that Google AdSense takes about two weeks to review the application. So I don't have the answer right now whether this is going to work or not. But this is what I have seen other people do. And well, so far, it's worked quite well. I know that this is a little bit complicated and it doesn't really talk to a lot of people. But if you're a YouTuber in China and you want to create um, monetization, you want to access monetization for your channels, this is a very important thing to remember. Do not connect your channel or your AdSense account to uh, China at all because you will not be able to proceed with the monetization uh, application. So guys, I need to wait a couple of weeks and, and see what happens with this AdSense account, the new one, AdSense account. And um, from there, well, I go back to YouTube and their partnership program and say like, hey, could you check my channel again? Now it's, it's all good. You can go ahead and, and start placing ads on my videos. And whenever I reach a certain level, pay me to that account over there. So that's, that's what I've had to do. That's what I've done so far. This is why right now you're getting uh, emails and notifications from China Teacher brand, not just China Teacher. And China Teacher doesn't have any subscribers, any videos. Everything is under the China Teacher brand. An important thing to tell you guys is when you do this move, when you move all the content from one account into a brand name account, all my comments are deleted or the original comments from China Teacher are deleted so if you don't see my comments to your comments or my replies to your comments anymore it's because they were deleted during the move uh, so I apologize for that but uh, it was necessary for me to do this if at any point I want to reach monetization okay guys that's all the time we have for today thank you very much for watching this video remember if you have any questions or if there's any corrections to what I said here do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you know somebody who would benefit from this video, make sure to share it with them so that they can avoid making the mistakes that I made. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content on my channel, consider subscribing to it. And if you do that, then don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified whenever there is a new video out. And until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.